Some farmers and landowners in Iowa are out in full force against the pitch to build carbon pipelines through the state. Those could also go through Nebraska if approved. KETV Newswatch 7's Josh Cristianto reports tonight on the pressure over the permit. Landowners, farmers, and environmentalists united at the Iowa Utilities Board meeting Tuesday. If we lock arms and say not on our farms or our neighbors, you will support the overwhelming majority of Iowans and vote against this pipeline. Thank you. Three companies are proposing multi-billion dollar projects to move carbon dioxide across the state. Summit Carbon Solutions pitch alone would create 700 miles of pipeline. The goal is to cut down greenhouse gas emissions from ethanol and other agriculture. But more than a thousand landowners aren't so supportive. It's not safe. It Nobody can guarantee that this won't explode. Sherry Webb farms in Shelby County. Her 40 acres are along one of the proposed carbon capture routes. She worries she'll lose her land to eminent domain unless she gives it up by choice. She also fears the pipelines will put the community's health and safety at risk. We're out in the middle of nowhere. Council Bluffs is a good 45 minutes away, so is Omaha. If we had to have a hazmat team show up, we're going to have to wait a while. Parts of the pipeline could cross state lines. That's why Nebraska Democratic Party Chair Jane Glebe also attended and joined the opposition. She supports these residents who call it a battle for their livelihood. We have worked very hard on that land to make it what it is today. And in a matter of a few months, they can take my land. If this was the, the savior for ethanol, the farmers would be lined up behind it. They're not. Josh Cristianto, KTV Newswatch 7. The Iowa Utilities Board will talk about the projects again, again tomorrow. Summit Carbon Solutions released a statement. Part of it reads, quote, We have successfully negotiated voluntary agreements with more than 600 Iowa landowners and nearly 2,000 total agreements across the five states where our project is proposed to be located. We look forward to continuing to build on that momentum.